Hi guys, welcome to Who's Junction. The Sacramento Kings traded DeMarcus Cousins to the New Orleans Pelicans. They traded DeMarcus Cousins to the Pelicans for Langston Galloway, Buddy Heald, um, first round draft pick, second round draft pick, Tyreek Evans as well. Tyreek Evans, Langston Galloway, Buddy Heald, first round draft pick, second round draft pick for DeMarcus Cousins and Omri Caspi. There are numerous reasons why I hate this trade. Number one, this makes the Sacramento Kings look like the stupidest, most inept franchise to ever set foot in the NBA. They traded DeMarcus Cousins, a top 10 talent, essentially for nothing. They traded him for nothing. You know, they could have made better trades in this instance. They could have possibly traded Anthony Davis and even swap. I give you Davis, give us Anthony Davis. That's a great swap. Or they could have possibly got some young talent and a veteran. So they could have got three solid players for DeMarcus Cousins instead of gutting their franchise. As Angeles Lakers were willing to trade, or they weren't willing to trade, but Sacramento could have worked this out where they could have got um, Lou Williams, maybe Ingram, or if you don't want Ingram, swap it out for Julius Randle, and a first round draft pick from the Lakers for DeMarcus Cousins. Both teams win in that instance. Why don't you make that kind of trade or finagle it or work the deal so you could you could get a nice first round draft pick because the Lakers have been playing well. So you know they possibly could get in that Lamelo Ball. I mean the, the one of the Ball Brothers sweepstakes. Why don't you make that trade instead? You have Vladi Divac. You have Shaquille O'Neal there. They know basketball, don't they? Or I would hope they do. Why would they advise for that trade to go down? Like so, the owner and the GM and everybody involved, minority owners. If you were signing off on this. This is the worst thing you could possibly do. Another reason why I hate this trade is due to the fact that DeMarcus Cousins is leaving $30 million on the table. Sacramento Kings will be the only team that could give him that fifth year option for extra $30 million. So basically, he could sign for five years $209 million or sign with the next team for four years $175 million. So you're leaving money on the table. You gotta get your money, especially if you're not if you're not in that LeBron bracket, Kevin Durant bracket, Stephen Curry bracket, where you know you're competing for championships consistently. You gotta get your money. If you're not competing, which Demarcus Cousins has shown sometimes that he doesn't compete like how he's supposed to, get your money. So why would it make sense for you to not commit to Sacramento? Thing why I hate this because. This shows that DeMarcus Cousins is saying, well, I want to stay in Sacramento. I love it out here. He was telling the organization something else behind closed doors. And the way that he was acting, the way that he handled himself in Sacramento is the reason why they traded him. If they knew that for a fact he would sign the extension and that they would, he would take care of business, he was mature about everything, they would never trade him. Why would you? You have a top 10 talent. Eventually, the Sacramento Kings will be back to those Chris Webber days. But with this whole trade, deals off. Deals off, and Sacramento was a disingenuous, especially with all the coaching changes. But DeMarcus Cousins plays a hand in that due to the fact that he didn't show them that he was gonna stay there, and they just made a, a decision in haste. The obvious reason why anybody could possibly hate this trade is this. These guys play the same position. Anthony Davis is a center. DeMarcus Cousins is a center. Where are you gonna get these guys to gel. How can you make this work? Where's the guarantee that it works? It will work. You know, Alvin Jordan is a great coach, but you know, he's always been gifted with great talent and that's pretty much, pretty much what got him the coaching job. I don't see how you make these two work. And I, I understand people say, well, you can slide Anthony Davis to the four position, but you need a four that can shoot. You're not gonna have any more spacing because they're gonna take up both blocks or they might want the same block. So how does that work? This is horrible for their careers because they're going to get numbers, but in their quest to get their numbers, they're gonna, the team's not going to gel. You see what I'm saying? Spacing is going to be awful, and they're just going to be packing in the paint. And teams are going to know this. Let's pack the paint. We're, we're going to pack the paint on them. We're going to double and triple team them because they don't have any shooters. And that's it. And that's another reason why I hate this trade. You have nobody on the perimeter. Who? Drew Holiday? Omri Caspi? Drew Holiday has, has been having family issues, and you can't expect him to carry the load, especially when you don't have a bench. Omri Caspi is not gonna, really going to spread the floor consistently. He's not a consistent shooter. So where is everything coming from? When they double DeMarcus, when they double Anthony Davis, where is the help coming from? Who's going to be the knockdown shooter? You tell me. I'm still trying to figure it out. 
hey, I mean, I can still play, but ain't nobody signing me, so what are you going to do there? Awful, awful. You have nobody to guard the perimeter, nobody to score on the perimeter. It's basically DeMarcus, Anthony Davis doing all the work. Finally, I hate this trade due to the simple fact that there's no guarantee that this little experiment is going to work, and you, you're going to essentially waste resources. And I feel like it's like this for both teams, because I feel like Pelicans, even though they feel like, okay, we got DeMarcus Cousins, they can't really rest easy due to the fact that DeMarcus Cousins is a hothead. Once he goes to from one losing situation to the next losing situation, he's going to still get those texts. He has 17 technical fouls. So there's going to be games where DeMarcus Cousins, he gets the next technical foul, he's out of there for three, four games or whatever the, the penalty is. So you're hurting yourself by signing a guy like this as such a hothead. Plus, there's no guarantee that these two are going to gel. Just because they played in Kentucky doesn't mean they're going to be great in the NBA. NBA is a whole different ball game. Teams exploit teams in a whole different fashion. You know what I'm saying? Like college basketball is completely different from, from NBA basketball. So this whole notion that they're just going to automatically get in there and gel, they might actually lose more games post-trade due to the simple fact that they can't get it together. So this is awful, awful. And I feel like both teams are culpable, but I feel like Sacramento definitely dropped the ball. I hate this trade. I hate, 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 hate this trade. I know some of you guys may love it, but I absolutely hate it. Let me know what you feel like in the comments below. This is Vlad from Who's Junction. Who's me, Tupla. Peace.